Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBC middleweight champion of the world, marvelous Marvin Hitler. Good combination by Hagler. Piston like jab. Missed with a big left hook. Then that could have ended if he had that good. punch. Solid jab. Mugabe just stands in the middle of the ring, pivots around as Hagler circles. I've noticed that he's been throwing his left hand very wide. That's about the straightest one he threw. Well, what Hagler is doing is looping Russ's left hand just a minute ago. A test of physical strength now, and Hagler is having a good combination. But he can't move that Mugabe back. My God, Tim, what punishment this Mugabe's taking, and he's still there. For a low blow again, a right hand lead by Hagler, keeping the pressure on, and he caught a left counter. Another left counter for Mugabe, and Hagler won't move back. A test of wills, finally. Mugabe driven back to the ropes. The months of preparation, the conditioning, Hagler showing here as he fires one punch after another. Better not punch himself out. John Mugabe is some tough customer. Takes another shot. He's hit, he's hit Hagler with some good shots too, Tim. Just taking him apart with short little punches. Wings two over the top just for good measure, and he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. Mugabe finally goes down in the 11th round, dead tired than anything else, and it's all over. He's just exhausted from the continual assault. Marvelous Marvin Hagler retains his undisputed middleweight championship of the world with an 11th round knockout over a game, an exciting challenge from John Mugabe. First round. Down by he was still a great deal of boxing skill from uh, Marvin up until he's able to hurt Simpsons, and then he'll get very mean. Carlos Padilla takes a good look at that. There is a cut along, seems to be right at the bridge of the nose, and combinations of punches by Hagler. Simpson fights back. Hagler tags him to the right, and another right behind an uppercut. Hagler right back on his man now, sensing that he has him hurt. Has him hurt. And down goes Tony Simpson. Plenty of time left in this round. Hagler trying to finish it off right here. A jolting right hand, a looping right hand by Hagler. And another. Simpson stands toe to toe. He's down, and this should be it. Padilla sends him to the neutral corner. Simpson is on his feet. And that's all. That is all. To say that Marvin Hagler was impressive would be to make a great understatement. It would be an understatement. Marvin Hagler. Look at him right for the body. Marvin Hagler only wants the body, and he bangs Marvin. Oh, Hearns may have hurt him with a right hand. Hearns hurt another Hagler. right. Hearns hits him with an uppercut. Hagler He's hurt. is hurt. Hagler is stunned. Hearns got inside. So it was Hagler coming out like a bullet. A good left by Hagler, but Hearns didn't flinch. Marvin going for the body. Wild first round. Wow, what a shot. And it was Hagler who initiated it, not Thomas Hearns. And a left by Hagler. Hagler. Hearns comes back. Another right. That one stunned Hearns. Marvin with a good left hand. There's blood all over Marvin Hagler's face. Can't tell where it's coming from. I thought it started from the bridge of the nose originally, but blood all over the face of Hagler here in round one. That's but Hagler Hearns. has him on the ropes. Hagler working on him. Hagler relentless, but Hearns trying to box his way out. Pinning him to the rope, working on him, but Hearns uppercutting again. Hagler bloody. A tremendous hurt. sensational first round as Hearns gets hurt. Hearns got stunned. Hagler was stunned early in the round. Well, the first round lived up to all the hype, and then so, round two now. Oh. This is the club, left hand by Hagler. Hagler has fought most of this round as a righty. Now he switches southpaw and lands. Not as effective as a righty as I thought, but now as a southpaw, the jab lands well. 
Carnes is smiling, but he's taking shots. Another right hand. Hearns turns his back, takes another right. Hearns in deep trouble again. Down. Hearns yeah. is down. Hearns is down in the third round and on his back. And he's not going to beat the count. I don't believe. Tommy Hearns tries to get up and he. They've got to stop this fight. Does he get up? He His just doesn't are know. He can't continue. It's Hagler full of blood. Blood, no doubt, impeding his vision, stopping him in the third round after Hearns almost ended it. Because Hagler's going to box him, going to outmaneuver him. And Hagler's right jab is very effective here. He's going at will. Very sharp early on. Two jabs right there that Hamshaw tries to duck under at 10. I don't believe Hagler has missed a right hand in the fight. Because Hamshaw is capable of throwing punches from any direction. He can hit you in the body, in the back of the head. Um, I'd rather fight him on the outside. Combination again stuns Hamshaw. Halfway through round 10. Right hand uppercut just stood the head of Mustafa Hamshaw. Snapped it right back. And a combination again and another right hand. And crowd comes alive. And another right hand in the face of Hamshaw. Hamshaw continues to bore in on the champion Marvin Hagler who scores once more. right hand and Hampshire's legs go again. Hagler continues to pound away to the body. Now they have with the right hand. Hampshire tries to fight his way off the ropes. Uppercut scores by Marvin Hagler and another right hand to the face and the eyes continue to bleed of Mustafa Hampshire. Hagler combination scoring it well. Crowd is alive. Right hand to the face once more of Hampshire. Just trying to measure it. Keep him away. Hagler scores with the right hand even so. And another right hand and yet another. Combinations of punches by the champion. Tries to go downstairs. Comes up. A right hand snaps his head back. Hampshire is against the ropes. Takes another right hand and an uppercut. Hampshire's corner is up and they are saying that's it. That's all. Braverman is saying stop it. The referee does so. The fight is over and Marvin Hagler has retained his undisputed middleweight championship of the world. What can you say? You can't say anything but this guy is truly Hagler. The greatest middleweight in the world, without a question. And he really got all he wanted from Mustafa Hamshaw tonight. He hit him, I, I don't know how many punches, two, three hundred punches maybe? It may be double than that. I think that Hagel displayed all the talent. That Scythian wants to pressure him as, as Hamshaw did earlier, and of course Vito ain't the front. And there go the legs of Scipion in round one. Hagel is right on top of him, measuring his man. It was a right hand that set him up. Combinations by Hagler hurt Scipion once more. Counter punching right hand by Hagler. A combination by Hagler. Vito has a firmo fight, of course. He suffered a cut from a butt. And again, Scipion now managing to get on top of Hagler a little bit more than he was. And there he took a right hand. That buckled his knees. Scipion back in his own corner. Takes a combination, goes down. And may not make it up. This man has never been knocked out. And it's over. It is all over. So Marvin Hagler has knocked out Wilfred Scipion in the fourth round. Punches as they get a good look at each other. Amani so far is moving strictly to his left, which is really the way to fight a southpaw, especially a southpaw uh, like Hagler. It's a punishing punch. Good right hook by Hagler, and good right hook. Missed that one. Hag Amani is slipping punches and he's not countering. Tim. Good, that's, that's great right for Hagler. Amani is hurt. It really rocked him another right hand. He's got him in trouble. He's on the ropes and that's it. Amani knocked right through these very loose ropes into the press row. As Hagler with a good short straight right. That was a damaging punch. And Amani knocked right through these very loose ropes here. Took several. Hagler with a big left hand that rocked Duran. Duran with a right uppercut. A right to the body by Duran, but he paid the price. Hagler countered with a left hook to the head. 
And there he does it. As soon as I said he hadn't done it, he switches to the righty stance. We point that out because you should not be misled by the cheers of the crowd. Good Hagler with a right hand, Duran with a right hand. Hagler comes back with a straight left to the head. A left hand by Hagler. Duran shakes his head, no, I'm not hurt. No, he can land often in the righty stance. There's a good jab by Hagler. A good right by Hagler. This is the way he needs to be in this fight. A hard jab by Hagler from the orthodox stance. Hagler with a left hook to the head. Hagler here applying some pressure. He's gone into another gear. And it's Hagler on the inside, not Duran, who's dominating the action as many people thought. Hagler now digging in now, throwing shots, and he is catching Duran. Durant still coming forward. Big right hand by Hagler from the righty stand. That was his best punch. Because of uh, Hagler's ability to punch in bunches. Hard jab there by Hagler. Yet another one. A countering right hand by Durant. Hagler slipping the jabs and pounding the body of Roberto Durant. Then he came upstairs with the righty. I still maintain Hagler has done his best work. Look at on the inside. This is where Duran was He's very much in this fight. Well, he's still upright anyway, and that gives him a chance. A hard left hand by Hagler. Duran came back with his own right. Good uppercut by Hagler. In the first 20 seconds of this round, Hagler has been a tremendous force here. And it appears right now that Duran cannot hurt Hagler. Hagler with a big left hand at the bell. Stiff right hand by Hagler. Hard left hand. Lee goes down. Face down on the canvas. It was a left and a right and a left. And Lee's in trouble. Hazard takes a look at him. Lee says he's all right. He doesn't look it. He's wobbly. He's in trouble. A right hand, a left hook to the side of the head. And he is in serious trouble. Stand another right hand by Hagler. Back into the ropes he goes. Hagler pounding Caveman Lee here in the opening round. He had Hagler said he didn't want it to go very long, and it's not going to go very long. It is over. Lee sags against the ropes. He's out of it. Marvin Hagler has knocked him out with 1.53 to go in the first round, and a crowd of people come storming into the ring. Damage done at all in that exchange. Right hand again, wild right hand by Obell. Misses. Hagler comes back with a right and a left that gets Obell up the top of the head. Obell not at all on. And if there's anything you could say, you got to say that. He has been calm from the moment he came into the ring. At the end of the first round, he was exhorting his fans to cheer, and they have. And even though this is Marvin Hagler's backyard, Obell has really got his share of support here in Boston. Hagler with the right hand there to the side of the head of Obell. And another combination. This time has Obell slowed up just a little bit. But Obell stays right in there. Stays pretty close to Hagler, as a matter of fact. Obell has been hurt. There's no question about it. Another right hand sends it back up to Wilson. Another right hand has Obell's legs wobbly once again. Obell tries to fight back with the right, but Hagler comes right back with a right and a left and another left and a right uppercut to the jaw. Obell just trying to weather the storm. Does get a right hand in, but it has no sting on it. Hagler right back at him with a left to the jaw and right to the head. And another left to the cheek by Hagler. Once again, Obell up against the ropes. The champion, Marvin Hagler, right on top of him. 20 seconds to go here in the fourth round. This round has been all the champion. Hagler stalks his man once more. Obell comes back with a combination. Misses, though. And three, four quick punches and a right hand to the top of the head. Staggers of Bell goes into the ropes. Octavio Manon says, that's all. That's enough. Marvin Hagler is still the champion of the world. He's tough from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. Huh? <laughs> well, Demings isn't showing him too much respect. With 30, Hagler's had 30 knockouts and 37 fights, and Demings is, Demings is in there clowning. Round four is almost over. Here go 
Rose right hand in the clincher. A couple of good right hands. Yeah, he's going. He's going all the right hand one. Well, as you pointed out before, uh, and uh, Hagler is a very strong guy, but he's a clubber. What do you mean by a clubber? Well, he doesn't have that real snap in the punch. He has strong arms. Oh, that was a oh. good right hand. Oh, that's yeah. all over. No, no, no. All, it's over. all over. That right hand was a number. Well, we have 47 seconds to go. No, it's all over, Gil. Yeah, it looks that way. It's all over. They should stop this fight. Hagler just looked at the referee and asked him to stop it. Well, yeah. so they all have over. It. There it is. The winner is Marvin Hagler. His 31st knockout. It came with 38 seconds left in round number eight. The Olympic place. And I'll tell you, they really like it when the fight gets tough. When it gets down. Left landed by Hagler. His first heavy punch of the fight. Confidence seeming to build as each second of the fight ticks away. Good body shots by Hagler, though, Tim. They're Hagler. hard punches. He's now landed his fighting look. Tim, he's looking to nail, nail Hagler. Got nailed himself that time with that right hook. Hagler still talking. Leonard would hope it's in frustration. I think we're starting to get the range a little bit now, though, Tim. They finally got him in the corner, landed a left. So Mike is just starting to get the range. The conditioning of these two athletes is extraordinary. Hagler was stolen right by Hagler to set him up. A short left and a hard right from underneath, and that wobbled Ray. <laughs> Leonard stopped on the ropes for the first time in the fight. And here comes a good body punch. Now he's punching back, but Hagler, Tim, he knows him belong in there. Into the round. Tim, I think this is a key round. Has to be a key round. punches by Hagler. Hagler finding the range and Ray Moore flat-footed here now backed up into the Hagler corner. And Hagler just keeps plodding ahead Those as it's working like style. Those are the solid punches. Yep. Man. Those are the solid punches. He has Ray in a little trouble now. Bang into the body. Uppercut scored at the bell. They don't hear the bell. He set everything else up. He hasn't been using that as yet. He's going out wide. Right hand jab starting to land now. And they're stiff. They, they're not just little jabs. They're stiff. Good right, right hook. Right the solid that was the best punch of the fight. Hagler straight best down the middle. Best punch of the fight. For Hagler. Wild fifth on a trick play by Leonard, and he paid for it. Because Hagler tagged him. Knockout. No knockout. judges vote the referee doesn't in the WBA and the three knockdown rule is in effect it means if any one boxer goes down three times in one round it's stopped oh and at that point when he stood square on and tried to slug it out Hamcho he almost paid the penalty with that because Hagler would like to keep this fight at long range he doesn't want to get you see that's where he's so good with the longer punches anyway Hasn't got much style, Hamcho, but he's a, he's a wearing down fighter, but the right hand right on the chin there. He softened him up earlier with that one, but he is definitely in a lot of trouble here, Hamcho, and Hagler can do it in the third. So all the pre-fight tactics haven't really paid off. He's got to get in there and try and slug it out, hopefully take the play away a bit from Hagler now. Just on instinct now. Hamcho, it's all he's doing it. He went 11 rounds last time, but he won't be able to do it here, I don't think. He's floundering. Oh, on the right hand again. There was almost a delay as he went down. Al Serto, the manager, says no more. He's in there. A compassionate act there by the manager. And the referee couldn't understand why he came in. But I hand that to Al Serto to get into the ring because he could see Hampshire. With both hands. We have 55 seconds into round one. Hagler scored, Hagler scored, and scored again with a short chopping right that hurt Mencher. Hagler with a good left and a right. Menace says, come on, fight, and Menner is leaving.
leaving himself open with this tactic. Hagler scored with a good, quick combination. He had a big second round, though. Mitcher is fighting back, or was, determinedly. You see Hagler scoring well with his left. The Mitcher knows, bloodied in the second round. Blood gushing forth. Again, the right lead. That's the second time. There are cuts under both Mitcher eyes now. Hagler is fighting his fight and making it work. The mouthpiece out. Mitcher's mouthpiece out. Mitcher is hurt. Mitcher is ready to go. It's only the third round and Hagler is all over him. Fighting without his mouthpiece now. Mitch has not been able to make his own fight. The corner man, the fight stop, it's over that quickly. The middleweight champion of the world is Marvin Hagler. There was a good left hand by Hagler that caught Obel right on the chin. Hagler working to the stomach now as well. Comes overhand to the right and scores, and Obel gets out of there. Marvin's corner is very pleased with the way he's fighting. He's Great left his hand. hand right there. He's been moving. It raises him up, and you're able to come across with the right hand. Just like Marvin just did. Stinging right hand. Obel back with a left hand of his own. It takes a left hand from Hagler. Goes up, cuts, brings his head up, in line for a combination. There was a combination of three punches culminated by a right hand by Hagler and another right hand remaining in the round here. This is the fourth round. It went eight the first time. Obell taking a beating in this round from Hagler, another chopping right hand. And there's the uppercut at the bell. This may be the round that Marvin gets Obell out of there because Obell's moving around. Left he doesn't right seem hand. as confident as he was. And referee Ernesto Magana says, watch your head. There's an uppercut that scores, and a right hand that scores, and Abel's still in close and still taking punishment. And another right hand, and there he goes. What a right hand for Marvin Hagler. Raise his head, and he's over. It. He's through, Barry. This one is all over. And that was a smashing right hand that did it. Marvin put some beautiful combinations together. He was a technician tonight. With this morning, I may say. And you can really see him start to get in a rhythm after about the second round. Marvin Hagler's handlers have him up on their shoulder now. 